Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of my Rogue Tech series. So today, I want to do a couple things. One, I want to refit our mechs here a little bit. We picked up the catapult last episode. We never got a chance to see what was in it. But I'll show you now. We didn't get a whole lot. We got Indo Steel. We got a Gauss Rifle that we can repair. Let's get to, let's just get in here and see what it is here. So if we repair everything here, we've got a Gauss Rifle, some ammo, TC concrete, which is excellent. We picked up one of those as salvage last time too, which is good. Ultralight gyro, which is okay. Endo steel, which we got, I think still we've got a bunch of this kicking around somewhere. But, um, so I think I want to make this into a do double Gauss rifle plus, which we do have. Um, Mac, I was thinking about making it an, ult an ultra AC Mac, like an ultra 20 or something, but I'm thinking when I go with long range pinpoint damage again on this guy, because I'm thinking about changing the lance significantly a little bit here so my thought originally was pulling the um where are you here the uh, trebuchet 5n out of the lineup for my main lance but i'm thinking now the wolverine might be a better choice to swap stuff around with so what i might do is i might swap the 5n's gear into the wolverine the Wolverine's gear will then go into the Griffin, and the Griffin's um, heavy Gauss rifle might go into the Catapult with a regular, like another Gauss as well. I think I just want to reorient all my gear around a little bit to make these mechs a little bit more uh, punchy. The 5N, I'm thinking I want to keep. The set, I think it's the 7K that I want to retire. It's only got one missile hardpoint. It does have ballistic, but I think this Gauss rifle is really failing in this mech. Um, I don't think we really need to go with a Gauss Rifle down here. So the 5N, I think what I want to do is replace it with double missile systems. So we'll use LRMs, I think. We've got a LRM um, 15 on this guy, and we have an LRM 15 on... Who is it here? Not this trebuchet. It's on... Uh, not the Hunchback. Which one is it on now? We moved it around, I think. Um, so animals in the 7k which has got an LRM 15 where do we do we actually move it into the uh, or do we just have it kicking around I think we might just have it kicking around I think we took it out of one of the mechs unless it's in here no so I think we have it in one of the other mechs unless I put it in the hunchback well I won't know yet until we get this hunchback back doesn't look like it is in here so um, we're gonna put uh, two LRM 15s the clan size LRM 15s um, in here, or I might just go with a clan LRM 15 and the, the bonus LRM 20 that we have, which does extra damage, and put it in the 5N. But that's going to be a re major refit. In order to do that, we're going to need cash, and we're coming up on the end of the month. So I am going to pull a quick mission here. I'm just going to go to contracts real quick. Um, not going to show this one on camera. It's just going to be a milk run. I'm going to go just, just destroy everything. Um, it's a turn of tables. I'm just going to take all cash because we're definitely going to need money to do any of this stuff. Um, so if anything interesting happens in this mission, I'll definitely record it, but uh, if not, then um, it's just going to be a uh, smash and grab. So I'll be back in a second once this mission is finished, and probably what I'll do is I'll just, you know, cut in for the loot at the end, just so you can see what uh, we managed to pick up, and then I'll be right back. Well, that was really simple. Three mechs in a vehicle. Cataract, uh, Dragon and a Kentaro plus a vehicle of Fulcrum. Some assault turrets, which weren't too bad. Took a bit of missile damage, but uh, overall, no problems at all. Once again, like I said, just a little bit of damage. They really liked uh, Flatliner and Vein Skater for some reason. So they did a little bit of damage to them, but not much. We didn't lose any components or anything. And we're just assigned two parts. Oh, a Kentaro part, nice. And a medium, medium pirate laser. Okay, so apparently we got a Kentaro out of that. Use an XL engine and double heat sinks to free up space and upgrade the Kentaro's LRM-5 launcher to an LRM-15. Improve cooling. Well, that's kind of cool. We took 27,000 in sea build damage, which isn't too bad. Alright, so just going to advance past all this stuff here. Get our mechs back. And Lothian and Hegemony still fighting. Oh, so Kinnis and Steiner are still fighting too, eh? Majesty versus House Marek. Free World's League surrendered, really. 
Turn 13 systems to Magistrate of Cannabis. Okay. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. So 661,000. Not too bad. Considering we've got like 11 mechs in our base now. All right, so we got the Hunchback coming back. 1.4 million. We're doing okay here. So let's have a look at the mech base. Okay, I had to go away and take a break for a second because I got to really think about what I'm going to do here. So the Kentaro, I think, rather than switching everything around like I was planning on doing between the Wolverine, the Griffin, the Catapult, Trebuchet, that's a lot of shifting. I'm thinking this Kentaro is probably going to work better. It's a 55 ton mech, and because it's got four missile hardpoints, two laser hardpoints, we can remove this guy currently, which is Flatliner's mech, and run, put stuff into the Kentaro to upgrade it instead of going the longabout route. The Trebuchet 7K, I'm thinking we can just put this right in storage for now. By the way, the Kentaro too, when we looked at the, what I got for a refit on this, it's it's awesome. We've got a double heatsink engine. Um, we've got an XL gyro, which we can actually sell um, because we don't need it. Um, sorry, an XL engine. We got a double heat sink to Fusion Core 300, which is awesome. Um, you know, we got a bonus LRM and medium laser and some case and stuff like that, an arc beacon. So this is actually a really, really good, good grab. Uh, it's you know obviously the armor is slightly better than the uh, than our current um, trebuchet. So we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this for a second. We're going to go back and we're going to pull the 7K out of service. So he's got a bonus um, to hit with missile. Um, he's got XL gyro, bonus to hit, slick, slick, slick sweet cockpit, which we don't really care about, but um, bonus to hit with ballistic. Uh, this was animals mech. So we're going to pull this guy out of service for now. So let's just drop him straight into our um, reserve. Okay, so the next thing we want to do then is we want to un like re basically strip everything off this trebuchet so we can start working on the Kentaro. Now, actually, you know what? Let's work on the catapult first. Now that I think about it, oh no, we can't actually. Sorry, I got to go this route because if I go the other way, we're going to run into to um, material issues. So we're going to take the trebuchet right now. We're going to go to refit, and we're going to strip everything off it, and then we're going to do the Kentaro first. Yes, Kentaro first, and then we'll worry about switching back for Animal in the 5N. So let's take everything off of here. So we're going to strip the equipment and just confirm. Confirm that. We're going to burn through this cache really fast, you watch. It's going to take like months to get all this stuff back up and running too, though. But, you know, now that we know where the pirate points are, once our mechs are up and running, we're going to be killing people left right and center okay so let's go to Kentaro we're gonna refit this guy it's gonna take a long time to get this guy up and running it's gonna be well worth it in the, in the end though so we just pull a double heatsink kit out of the 5n trebuchet so we're gonna actually let's not do that let's go back let's repair first because I think I want to just leave some stuff in here mech location destroy you cannot auto assign armor when mech okay that's fine uh, we're just gonna repair everything here all right, so we're going to max armor everything. Just so we're starting from a point of, you know, uh, strength. So let's pull out all this stuff. Um, case 2, we don't need this. NAR can come out. XL engine's coming out. We're going to pull this fusion core. We had 250 in the other other mech, so we're going to start with that. So let's go to, we're gonna, definitely going to want this in here. Um, does this have a hand on it? It does. So we'll put the hand back in. So let's go and get our armor back, case armor. We want to have, um, where are we here? Our cockpit TC. We want to get that in there. Now we had ECM Warfare Suite. We want that. Now I'm going to put it in this side this time because we're really going to protect our left side. So we're going to do that. We're going to put the Clan XL engine in this guy because this is our main lance. We're going to go back with the 250 engine and we have a double heatsink kit here. So we're going to drop that back in because we're definitely going to need that in this mech. Okay, so now we're going to go to our targeting systems because we want to put our uh, missile targeting back in for sure. Uh, we're going to leave Artemis out. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to go this route. Um, 
and what we're going to do is XL gyro needs to go in. We need to get the endo steel back. We need to go to weapons systems to missile weapon system. So now we have to start planning out what we're planning on doing. So we were using dead fire ammo before with the LRMs and I'm thinking we probably want to do the same thing with this one. So we'll put LRM dead fire ammo back in and we are definitely going to need at least four tons of ammo. So I'm going to drop four tons in for sure to start with. Now we're going to go to our LRM 15s and we want to drop both of these guys back in this arm I think. Uh, we could put them in the torso but I'm thinking I really want the extra hit to hit chance on these things. Crank it way way up. Uh, so we're doing pretty good here weight wise now I'm going to pull some armor off the back just to get this to a point where we're flush here so we're going to do that actually probably what I'll do is I'll put those at 60 and then take this down to 75 like this okay so heat wise we're doing really well we have just added our LRMs back in so now we've got a little bit of space left over so what we can do is we got a clan LRM5 we've also got uh, where are you down here? Um, two clan LRM 15s. Now these are three and a half tons each. We wouldn't be able to fit both of them in. Um, but it would kind of be nice if we did. So these guys have got accuracy and evasion ignore. And so does our LRM 20 here. Accuracy and evasion ignore. So and plus one damage as well. Which is what these guys have. Plus one damage. So the uh, one thing we could do is drop an LRM-20 in here, pull the 15s out, and then put the two clan 15s in the arm. That's a five. Where are my clan 15s? Here we go. We could go this route. And we're still really heat efficient. We're at 48 out of 60 heat. And I think we could probably just drop this last clan LRM-5 in here as well. We might as well. So we got two tons remaining, and then what we would do is go to our lasers here, and let's see, we could add, yeah, this one's not bad, accuracy, evasion, ignore. We can put that in, let's put it in this arm, so it's even more accurate, and then maybe we put, what do we got for heat here? 64 to 60 is not too bad. Uh, we, there's nothing we can really do to get more gear in here. I mean, I guess the other thing to do is we could put a medium ER in instead of the accuracy medium laser and put a heat sink in, which would do a little more damage. So we pull that out and clan medium ER for the extra range because this guy's going to be definitely going to be a range boat. So go back to equipment really quick. And we're going to grab a double heat sink and just drop it in here. So now we're looking at, yeah, 66, 69. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Not too bad. Now we don't have any exchanges kicking around, but, you know, that's fine. So I think we're going to go this route with this guy for now. Um, just to see how it goes overall. We got um, plus four accuracy with the missiles on the arm plus five with this guy here oh wait one two three four five six with the arm seven with it with the uh, torso so that's pretty good accuracy overall I think so we'll just go this route we're stripping most of the medium lasers out of here and we're doing slightly less damage with the LRM 15s but the 20 and, and the extra um, 25 missiles I think is more than going to make up for missing the two lasers. So let's go this route. We're just going to confirm this. 32 days, so as you can see, it's going to take quite a while before this guy gets back up and running. And now we can address the 5N. So the 5N is probably going to get, be close to being back to where he was. I got a feeling we should probably just make this guy an LRM boat. Now we had a Gauss rifle and an LRM on this 7, but I think the 5N should probably go back to having both LRMs back in here again. So let's go to equipment real quick. Um, let's grab... What are we going to start with here? Uh, this is Animals Mech. So I'm wondering... Let's put an ECM in for sure. We had the XL engine or the light engine before in here. Uh, we don't need a ton of speed. 240 perhaps. 
and drop a, two, a Fusion Core 240 in. Save a little bit of weight there. Uh, we do have the XL dry rows, which we can add. We're definitely going to need... Hmm, we don't have any XL engines left, do we? That's going to be an issue for our catapult. But we do need the XL gyro in here. So we can drop this in. Um, we have tons of endosteel left, which we can drop in. We're not going ballistic on this guy. We are going missile, so we'll drop a missile in as well. We will have to save the TC cockpit for the catapult, so we can't use that cockpit. So I'm thinking we got the slick suite here. We'll put that in here for now until we get another one of these guys. Um, actually, you know what? We have one of these guys in. We do. We have one already in the catapult, so I don't have to worry about that. We did get one of those in the catapult, so I'll put that back where it was. So let's go back up to the arms. Uh, arm lower. I think just goes on this side and regular arm hand. No, is it the arm hand goes on this side? Yeah. And then arm lower can go on this side. Then we want to put in Pharaoh, perhaps? I don't know if we. Uh, well, let's try this. We'll put Pharaoh in. We got our armor already pretty much cranked up. We're going to go to our missile systems. So we're going to put our LRM 15s back in here. Just like that. And we definitely need ammo, so the question is, do we go... Yeah, I think we're going to go with just targeting ammo. And we're going to go with three tons in total. One, two, three. So that's 30 rounds, so that's four, eight. And then this is 80, so nine, ten. Ten and a bit turns of fire, which is, I think, plenty for this guy. Now, lasers, we could go back with the regular... Um, medium lasers that we had in here or, ex or um, extended range lasers but I'm thinking um, we're gonna have to worry about heat too in a second because we're already at 30 now we, we're not gonna put the double heat sink head in this because I want to save it for the other guy so let's put in a couple of medium lasers and do we have any other bonus to hit items here other than the PPCs because that's a little too much heat for this guy. So let's put this one in this side. We're going to be protecting our left side. So then let's put a... Um, we do have the clan ER large. But I have to pull out both mediums for this to work. So maybe we just go with another medium for now. And then we need to lose a little bit of armor, I think, if we're going to be putting... Um, some more heat sinks in, which, which we're definitely going to need now. So let's pull out this, actually, first pull out the medium laser. Let's go to equipment. We don't have any... Yeah, this is going to get tricky here. Can't use the double heat sink kit. We need these for... Well, we don't need these for the catapult, but we're out of space. So I think we're just going to have to pull the Pharaoh out. Sad to say, but we're going to have to do that. Let's drop some double heat sinks in here. And that's not working still heat-wise. So, hmm, maybe we have to up the core. That's 12 tons for a 240. Do we have a 250? We have a 260, but that's 13 and a half. So if we swap it around, we're one ton over. Yeah, this is really underwhelming. But now we could probably add the ferro back. Do we have enough slots to add the ferro back? Let's move the medium laser to this side. I'm gonna go to equipment. We're gonna scroll down. Oh, right here, ferro fibrous. No, we don't have enough slots for ferro now. Okay, so I think probably what we'll do is we'll leave this like this for now. Heat sinking is a little over what we want. This I don't think is gonna be a perfect build at all. But with the two LRMs in there. And the bonus accuracy. Mm, I'm still not convinced this is a good enough build. But we're going to confirm it for now. It's definitely less underwhelming than the Goss LRM15 clan build. 
We need to get that up and running. So let's go back to the, actually let's go to the Trebuchet 5S. We're just gonna repair this guy real quick. I think we're just missing a heat sink and some ammo on this guy. Can't wait till this catapult gets up and running again. So let's take off the SRM ammo, the heat sink, and we will replace it. Regular SRM ammo and regular heat sink. Let's get this back up and running. Confirm this. It's only one day. All right, catapult time. So we do have two Gauss Rifle Pluses now. So let's refit this. So the new Lance is going to be interesting. It's a definitely a different mix than we had in, the, uh, in previous Lances. So let's um, repair everything. And we're going to pull out the Ultralight Gyro to start the Gauss Rifle and the Jump Jets. Don't need those. Gauss Ammo will stay. TC Copper, yeah, so we already had one in here, which is good. So we're going to go down to our Gauss Rifles. Let's go here. We should have two plus ten, yeah, two plus Gauss Rifles that do plus ten damage each. So we're going to put one in each arm. Start with that. So S80 damage pinpoint each. Then, so we got enough for 12 rounds for each of these guys. There's no Gauss Precision Ammo, I don't think. Uh, at least I haven't seen any, so that's not really going to help us. Then let's go to equipment, and we're going to need to go and get an engine here. So something at least, at least a 270. I don't know if I want to go a ton more for the 280, but let's go with the 270 for now. And we still have a double heatsink kit, which we might be able to use somewhere else. We don't really need it right now for this guy, so we're already overweight, and that's because we don't have a Clan XL engine, do we? Nothing available. Yeah, we're going to have some issues here. So until we get an XL engine, this guy's really not going to be able to do anything. So let's try something different then. Let's do this. Let's grab our ferrofibrous and drop that in. Okay, now let's go to weapon systems. Even if we grabbed like one of these guys, it's still 10 tons, right? So, problem with this mech is going to be a really, you know, low damage weapons platform for its tonnage. Unless we like, what if we just mix it up a bit here? So if we do go with, let's say, maybe an AC5 rotary on one arm, but that's still weight wise, it's still ridiculous, right? We do have a clan Gauss rifle, which is 12 tons as opposed to the 16 or 15 tons. Whatever we do with this guy, unless we go the Ultra 20 route, he's going to be a point range bo like boat. So if we go this route, let's go with this and this. Less chance to hit this way though. We do have the breacher cockpit. There's like no heat generation on this thing right now. Plus two ballistic. We could buy a plus one ballistic as well. We need Gauss ammo, so let's get that first before we do anything. So this HA-20 is definitely going to need a lot of Gauss ammo. Let's go this road so we can find it quickly. So Gauss ammo, let's go one, two, three, four, five, oh, let's put him in the torso, five, six. So that's eight shots for this guy. We're going to need at least one more. So that's still really ridiculous. I don't need any heat seeking or anything, but look, look at that. Weight wise is ridiculous. Without without an XL engine, this thing's pretty much useless right now. Hmm. AC5 Ultra 5s maybe. Once again, 40 damage times two. It's not quite an, not quite outputting the same amount of damage. But we do have more tonnage that way, right? 
So if we pull out this stuff, let's try with the Ultra 5s. Once again, I mean, it's not really my favorite way to go. We have an AC5 rotary too, but then, then once again, it's like more, more tonnage, more ammo. We just don't have the weight available for this. So ammo AC5, gonna need at least two tons per. That gives us 15 turns of firing. I mean, we could go with three, three tons. Hmm. If we go with three, well, you know what? Gonna need to max out the armor. We could definitely need to max out in the legs because of the, uh, the ammo in the legs, right? So we still got, I mean, this is really good heat-wise, relatively. It's 36. So if we do drop the double heat sink kit in this one, let's do that. Let's drop the double heat sink kit in. Because now I can look at putting the, go to lasers here real quick. I can put the clan ER in as well, which is a 60 pinpoint for four tons. So my heat efficiency is pretty close. The other way to do it is to not put this guy in. Do we have two clan? We don't have clan ER lasers, do we? No. So when we had clan ER mediums, but we don't. I could put two regular ER mediums in, but it's almost the same heat for less damage. That's what the original build has, is ER. But... I don't know. Definitely going to need heat sinks now. This is definitely not the build I wanted on this thing. So, wow. We should put ECM in for sure. Still a ton. Take half a ton of armor off the back. So we can do that. Gives us two tons left over for heat sinks, which we have double heat sinks for. We got one double heat sink. So how are we doing heat sinking wise now? 6971, that's okay. So this is not the build that I want for sure for this guy. Once we get the XL Clan XL engine in here, maybe Clan Ferrofibers or Clan Endosteel, we can change this around. At this point though, I'm wondering. 21 days, 265,000. Do I even bother? Or do I wait to get that engine? Thinking probably... Because if we're punching above our weight, this is 40, 80, 160, 220 damage with not really that great a chance to hit with everything. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to bother right now until we get the Clan XL engine. There's no point. Unless we go with a laser build, but then... Like, we could put light machine guns in the arm for that point. But let's go with this for now. Um, we have our Kentaro moving up into the main lance. And the Trebuchet 5N moving down. Hunchback is definitely going to need a lot of repairs. And then this catapult, we'll figure out what we're going to do with this later. Maybe I should just repair. So let's go to refit on the, on the catapult. We're just going to repair everything just so it's ready to go. So let's repair it all. It's 120,000. Just confirm it. We are going to need to be using this in the future and again anyway, so... Might as well repair all the gear that it's got on it. Okay, cool. So we're going to end the episode here for today. It's mostly just a rebuilding episode. The next one, when we come back, um, 
we should be up and running with the main lance again. Let's manage our tasks a bit here. So let's move our Kintaro up. That's 32 days. So that's really not going to be ready to go. So let's drop that down. Uh, let's move this guy up. And let's move the catapult. Let's leave it behind. Um, doesn't matter anyway, but the Kintaro is going to take forever. So um, looks like it won't be the main lance next time when we fight. It'll probably be the secondary lance. Uh, we're definitely going to need cash because we spent a lot of money fixing these mechs up. We spent a um, little over half a half a mil C, half a million C bills, like six hundred thousand C bills. So we're definitely going to need to make up for that by uh, getting some more cash. We're going to jump out of this system too, I think, at some point. Actually, let's have a look now, real quick, before we end. Uh, we need to get out of here and pick up some more missions somewhere else. So this is going to be 17 days, Cassandra's memory, so we're going to go there. Um, and once we're there, we'll uh, pick up some missions with um, our lances. Trying to punch above our weight once again. Hopefully we can get into some missions that are going to give us a um, uh, better chance at uh, gear and some cash. Now, our medium weight lance uh, is going to have a hard time punching above its weight. Still around three skulls, maybe three and a half if it gets, you know, lucky. The main lance is, can hit, you know, four, four and a half skulls. So uh, at some point, once that catapult's up and running, we'll, we may try a five skull mission. We did well and it gets against a single assault lance a little while ago. So hopefully we'll be able to do the same thing against uh, more assault lances in the future. Catapult's almost back. Payroll's almost back. Um... So, yeah, next time when we come back, we will definitely be hitting the enemies hard on this planet. Also, too, we're going to have to figure out where we're going to um, ransom these pirates off that we have. Hopefully they'll be able to give us their uh, base location and we'll be able to go and find some pirate points which we can start jumping into and start pulling uh, missions on our own rather than having to, to deal with the different houses to uh, make our money. So until next time, if you like the episode, please feel free to subscribe. Um, also drop a like if you like the video and I'll see you next time.